What's up y'all, Ron Kwok here and welcome back to the channel. Today I got a special video for you. We're doing the 2022 Pocket Everyday Carry in conjunction with a few of your favorite neighborhood EDC enthusiasts. Special thanks to Randy over at Moorlander EDC for putting this all together, organizing this collab. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So each of us are gonna design a pocket everyday carry with a $600 budget. I know that's a lot, but we'll get into that in a little bit. Each kit is gonna have a knife, a multi-tool, a wallet, a pen, a key organizer, a flashlight, and if you've got the budget for it, a few of your favorite wild cards or must-haves in your pocket. Aside from the budget and the inventory, everything else is fair game. That's probably where the similarities will end and that's where our unique style in formulating EDC kits will start to really shine. Let's see the Live With Purpose EDC breakdown for the 2022 Pocket EDC kit. Let's go. As we like to do on this channel, let's start with purpose. What is this kit gonna be for? This is the Daily Carry Warrior loadout that can handle most common problems easily dispatched with a few common tools in your pockets. Let's start with a knife. If you've been watching this channel for any period of time, you'll already know I wholeheartedly recommend the Spyderco Para 3. It's a great size, not too big, not too small. It's got a solid build construction, smooth action, and I love the unique engagement factor of the Spyderco flick. There's a hole in the blade that you can use to flick the knife open and flick close, so it's really fun to use, honestly. Whether or not you go for the stainless steel or another variant like this Maximet steel here that I have will depend entirely on your use case but there's a lot of customization points. You can swap out the clips and get a deep carry clip. You can also attach a knife fob for enhanced wieldability or just to pull it out of your pocket a little bit easier. And it comes with G10 scales with a fine texture here. Yeah, I love it. If it has a place in your kit, the Spyderco Para 3 is definitely my go-to. The base model for the Para 3 will run you about $115 US. Next up is a multi-tool. Now, I'm not gonna lie, a Leatherman wasn't exactly the first thing I thought about when I thought about EDC essentials. Just because it's, you know, a bunch of tools in one, it's heavier, it's clunky, and a little higher price than other components of your everyday carry. But after getting one, it's come in clutch more times than I can count just because I had it nearby in my pocket or in my bag when the need arose. And trust me, the need arose the need arose more often than I thought. This is the Leatherman Wave Plus. It's got 18 different functions in there. The two that I've found most useful and most commonly used for me is the pliers and the Phillips head drive. It comes with multiple knives, a saw, scissors, a ruler, a lot of different things to provide a lot of different utility. And when used in conjunction with, you know, the other knife that I have and other components in this kit that I'm gonna go over, you'll be able to solve a lot of common problems that you'll run into on a daily basis. So I would definitely recommend a Leatherman as a part of an all general purpose, do almost everything daily, everyday kit. The Leatherman Wave Plus will run you about 110 US. Let's address the elephant in the room. $600 is a lot of money, I know, but this isn't a budget entry level kit. If you were to ask me, Ron, how do I get started with everyday carry? I wouldn't recommend this kit to you, first of all. I would tell you to put together a budget EDC kit and use it for a month, see if you're actually going to get some use out of each of these components. Once you've confirmed that you're gonna get consistent, regular mileage out of each of these pieces of kit, circle back to this recommendation list. Right, next up, wallets. I've said it time and time again, and I'm gonna say it again right now. The Exter wallet is next level because of this. Yes, yes, that is a button that cascades your cards in a slant so you can see all of your cards in one go. You know which one to pull, you pull it out, close it, and you're done. Once you're done using the card, pop it up again, slide it back into position, close it, and you're done. Time it, time it. Pull out any of your other cards from your wallets and I'll bet you the time is either tied or worse. Do it. <laughs> all you people in the comments are gonna be posting response videos, beating my time, but that's not the point. That's not the point, okay? The point is, Exer creates a whole line of wallets that uses this quick trigger pull and it makes accessing your cards so much easier. And you don't have to dig or rife through stacks and stacks of credit cards like some other models that do like a vertical stack with a rubber band or, you know, like bifolds that might have you slot in each individual card. This thing is a great wallet. I've been using it for a while now and I will continue to use it. Definitely recommend 100%. This is the Exter Parliament and it's gonna run you, this one, 
uh, the brown leather is going to run you $89. But they have a lot of different varieties on their website, everything from carbon fiber to just aluminum body by itself, real sleek for different price points. So definitely check those out in the description below. All right, let's talk key organizers. Now you might even be wondering what the hell is even a key organizer? That's one of these right here. This is a key organizer and allows you to stack all your keys neatly and allows you to access all of your keys by flipping them open just like this. That way, each and every one of your keys is organized and ordered and you can access them very quickly no matter which one you need at any given moment in time. They stack real nicely and there's no jingle. So for all you people keeping a bunch of keys on one ring and you shake them around and you're walking around and all you hear is jingle bells, way before Christmas season, this is the solution for you. The variant that I'm looking at right now is the Orbit Key and National Geographic collaboration. Uh, they did a few colorways. This one is uh, the topography and they also have a constellation theme and an ocean themed one. Uh, looks real cool. Got the topography lines up in there in the olive drab and black. This one is made of vegan leather, but one thing I've always admired about Orbit Key is the sheer volume of their collaborations and variants that they have with different brands and organizations. Uh, for all the irregular size keys, like your car fobs and you know bicycle keys or whatever, there's also a D-ring attachment here at the end that you can slot in those bigger keys so it doesn't ever hinder you when you're trying to put it into the stack here. All you gotta do is unscrew it, slot your keys up in one nice stack put them in an order that you prefer. I always do like house key on one side, work key on the other, and then keys ranging from like most used to occasionally used from outer to inner. That way I can, you know, make a mental note whenever I open it. Okay, this is gonna be the work key, this is gonna be the car key, etc., etc. And you just tighten it up and there's a tension coin in there that keeps everything locked up uh, and keeps it from falling apart. So this particular variant will cost you $43.50 US. All I gotta say is if you haven't tried a key organizer, you're missing out, you should try it. <laughs> uh, one thing I will say is I prefer the leather variants just because I've seen a lot of the competitors in this space that use like metal, titanium, carbon fiber, and I feel like all of that's sort of unnecessary just because it adds a lot of weight, maybe excluding the carbon fiber, but uh, you know, like the stainless steel, the titanium uh, key organizers, they add a ton of weight to your kit and your keys are already made out of metal, so they don't need protection. And unless they provide like added value, like if they, they actually work as a pry or something else, it's just gonna weigh you down and probably will cost a lot more. So that's why I'd like to stick to the leather variants or you know, you can go silicone as well. Next up, pens. Any EDC kit wouldn't be complete without a writing implement. So for this one, I'm going towards the Fisher Space Pen X Mark. This is a portable little pen that unfolds and clips into a full-size pen. It's pressurized, so it writes upside down, underwater, over grease, even in space if you find yourself going to Mars on a typical Sunday afternoon. Now, this thing is super portable because it's just 3.5 inches long when tucked away. It's perfect size for any pocket. And there's a clip here for added utility. Matte black looks real clean. It's really useful to have a pen that can write on a variety of different surfaces in a variety of different circumstances. And this X mark really fits the bill. Did I miss out on a uh, punny opportunity there? X marks the spot. <laughs> the Fisher Space Pen X Mark would run you about 25.50 US. Let's talk flashlights. This is the Olight Baton 3. It's a super strong flashlight in a small form factor. It's got three primary settings from 12 lumens all the way up to 300 luminance with a luminance <laughs> lumens with a turbo setting of 1200 whopping lumens. It can run at the high setting for up to 95 minutes. It has an optional charging case that can charge this thing almost four times over. So you don't have to worry about running out of light when you need it. It charges magnetically through the back so you don't have to worry about finding that micro USB or USB-C cable any longer. And they have this double-sided clip here that allows you to clip it into your pocket and into the bill of your cap so you have hands-free lighting when you find yourself out and about at night. On top of that, they redesigned this form factor so that there's this new knurling on the handle here for extra grip and texture. So that's a really solid package in a small form factor. Really enjoy this thing. Primarily, it's to find stuff in dark places. 
and it sounds like a rare use case, but you'll find yourself doing that more often than not. The Olight Baton 3 will run you $64.95 US by itself, or if you wanna go with that optional charging case, it's gonna run you a total of 99 US for both. All right, where are we at? We're at $482.55 US? before tax that is a really good that's really good I, I expected us to get closer to the 600 but let's go over a few wild cards that might be great complements to the edc pocket carry kit that we've formulated so far all right wild card number one we have a pen in our edc kit so why not have a journal specifically field notes so these are field notes they're little journals that can fit into your pockets honestly they're the only journals that I feel like can fit in your pockets. I use other ones, for example, the Lohrstrom like hardcover, like leatherback cover, but those are, you know, they're not as flexible. They're actually pretty rigid and they definitely won't fit in your pockets. So honestly, I think it's really useful to have journals on hand just for you to, you know, write down anything that, you know, comes to mind when you're in the moment, when you're doing your routine, anything that will help you improve your, your process, I think definitely deserves a jot down. I go with the grid instead of you know traditional college ruled lines just because it's more flexible i'm a visual learner so instead of just writing words a lot of times i'll draw stuff too so um, a three pack of field notes will easily cost you 15 bucks each has 48 pages uh, front and back and they're really handy uh, there's different variants different colors there's um, even a waterproof variant so if you find yourself writing in the rain a pressurized pen that can write on anything and a surface that won't you know melt away in the rain might have something there wild card number two nipex cobra pliers now these things are gnarly and super useful uh, this is the five inch variant it adjusts so you can open it up like this it opens up all the way to like a one inch opening for the jaws and can close all the way down. It has a solid grip on whatever nut or bolt you're holding onto. And in conjunction with the Leatherman Wave Plus pliers that I showed off a little earlier in this EDC kit breakdown, you can use those to tackle those gnarly joints that require you to lock down a nut before you can loosen another, particularly with plumbing. So this has been way more handy than it should be. I don't know, for, for the common everyday use thing. The push to adjust here is really sturdy. Like it, it doesn't ever like click out of place. Uh, you can scale it and there's a bunch of notches in between so you can really dial in the fit there. This either lives in my pocket or it lives in my bag, one or the other. I don't really go anywhere without this. So yeah, super useful. Definitely a contender as a wild card. All right, I'm, I'm not gonna get too crazy here. This will be the last wild card, but uh, for this one, I recommend an upgrade to the Spyderco Para 3 that I mentioned earlier and getting yourself a deep carry clip. First reason is it provides a much more subtle carry for your knife when you have it clipped in your pocket. I personally like to minimize the fact that I have a knife in my pocket and I don't wanna announce to everyone nearby that I have this thing in my pocket and that can be advantageous to you for a multitude of reasons. But long story short, just wanna minimize my carry and you can accomplish that with a deep carry clip. Secondly, aesthetics. Uh, the original OEM clip that comes with Spyderco knives is like a chromey stainless steel one and it's really loud. And and so with the aesthetic I wanted to achieve with this knife, which is the all gray, you can tell there's a gray G10 scales. The Maximet steel here is a dulled gray and I added a gray paracord knife fob. So I might as well finish the look with a titanium clip from Lynch Northwest. It's a sand washed gray graphite kind of look and I really enjoy the package as it comes together. Whoa, whoa, whoa. As it comes together in this knife. That's cool, right? So. If you have the budget, if your kit is near completion and you're looking to spruce up some of the main components, I definitely would recommend a deep carry clip. All right, y'all, that's it. That's my 2022 Pocket EDC Kit Live With Purpose Edition. The grand total comes out to $549.79 US. Left you about 50 bucks for tax and shipping because I'm a considerate guy and you'll run right around that $600 mark. I hope you found this one useful and learned something from it. I sure did when compiling this kit. This is gonna be the kit that I'm gonna run it for the foreseeable future, at least until something cool comes out. But that is what I'm going with. Definitely check out the other videos that I've linked below. They've got some really cool stuff. I'd love to see their ideas. I'd love to hear what you think of their ideas. Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you liked about this kit, what you didn't like about this kit, what you saw in other videos that you liked that you wished I mentioned in this video. And of course, vote for me when you're done because you like my kit the most. 
<laughs> Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. I hope you had a good time. If you enjoyed this one, make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, y'all.